Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are doing another Shop My Stash. I just got back from my vacation staycation thing, so this video is not pre-filmed, um, and I'm excited. I have been decently enjoying this makeup. Um, I am doing a couple of little updates to the Shop My Stash format. Um, I'm no longer going to be just using Project Pan products. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are doing a very exciting video. I'm really excited. My nine year wedding anniversary is coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so my husband spoiled me a little bit. Um, he got me a cry cut machine, which is, ugh, I have been dying for a cry cut machine for literally so freaking long. Like I want one so bad. I'm an organizing junkie. I really want to be able to make those cute, like Instagram-ish labels. Like I just think it's adorable. So I've wanted one of those for a very long time. And then in addition to that, as a little surprise, <sighs> He got me the Juvia's Place Nude Lip Collection, like the full collection. I'm dying. I'm so excited. Um, Y'all know me. I really like bright colors, but for lips, I do tend to prefer more shades that hit like the nude spectrum. And oh, this is so beautiful. So today we are going to talk about this collection. We are going to try on the lippy shades. I'm going to do all lip swatches, and then I'm also going to post up some pictures of swatches like on my arm. And can we just... I'm just, I'm so thrilled. Like, you have no idea how excited I am. I saw this, and I was immediately interested in, and I'm just, thank you so much to my husband. I'm so excited. So this collection comes with six lip liners, three glass glosses, four lip reflect glosses, and then 12 bullet lipsticks in different shades and color families of nudes. I, ooh. Okay, so we are going to start with the lip liners. There are six of them. The packaging is beautiful. Just very bright pink. I love that. These retail for $10 each and you get 0.2 grams, which is pretty decent for a lip liner. We're going to do some arm swatches. I'm going to post some pictures up to discuss the shades and then uh, we're going to do some lip swatches at the very end. So like I said, this one does come in six shades. You have Scorpio, which is a dark Darkened Plum Cola, which is a chocolatey brown. So Rare, which is a golden muted brown. Lush, which is a dark rose. Love Me, which is a pinkish brown. And then Sweet Nothing, which is a soft brown beige. I'm like genuinely loving all of these shades. I think they're so pretty. My concerns for like my skin tone, I'm afraid Scorpio is going to be like super duper dark. But It'll be interesting to see how all of those look on me. Then we have the Glass Gloss Bundle. I'm not seeing these for sale individually. I'm seeing them in a bundle pack for $39. But there are three of these. There is It's Glass, which is a clear, super high shine lip gloss. It's Electric, which is a clear, super high shine lip gloss with a gold shimmer. And then So Glaze, which is a clear, super high shine lip gloss with pink shimmer. I think that all of these genuinely... I really like, like, just for out and about when I need to, like, re-up on my lip product using something like this that will go over anything. If I have, like, extra lip product already on, I can just really quickly put it on. I think that's so pretty, and I have really high hopes for these glass glosses. The packaging for the glass glosses, they come in little cardboard boxes like this, which I love because they're very easily recyclable. This is It's Electric, which is the um, super high shine clear with a gold shimmer. The packaging is so beautiful. It's just a clear tube with this beautiful pink and gold design on the top. Wands for these are massive, which I actually really like for lip glosses. So I'm excited about that. That looks so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes. Um, mm. I'm not super into like metallic looking lips, but these shimmers look like they would be okay. So I'm really excited to try these on because I have a feeling those are just going to be so beautiful. Okay, so for the lip glosses, the glass glosses are $13 a piece. I was able to find them um, on the website here. And then the lip reflect glosses are also $13 a piece. So for the lip reflect glosses, there are four shades. There is Caramel Rose, which is a warm toned soft brown, Sis, which is a deep peachy beige brown, Kiss Me, which is a soft rosy baby pink, and then Barely There, which is a light creamy neutral beige. The packaging for these is very similar to the other lip glosses, um, and then it's clear with that same imprinted design. It's still that very large wand there, so I'm really excited about that. 
And then now my absolute favorite part, the lipsticks. So the lipsticks, the way that they did this is really interesting to me because they broke it down into color families. These are the nude velvety matte lipsticks. They're $14 a piece. And Juvia's Place always has like coupon codes and discounts on their website. Like right now, um, any bundles of these products are on sale at the time of filming this. So I'll link everything down below, but you know, kind of scope around their website because you can always find coupons and discounts like that. Um, so they have these divided into three different families. There's the nude peaches, the nude chocolates, and the nude mauves. Each color family has four shades. So we're going to start with the peaches. Um, the peaches has me, which is a warm toned peachy pink nude. Libra, which is a rosy peach nude. In Vogue, which is a muted peach nude. And Mademoiselle, which is a warm peachy nude. For the chocolate shades, we have Cocoa, which is a deep dark chocolate nude, Toffee, which is a creamy mocha chocolate nude, Muted, which is a cool chocolate brown nude, and then Lady, which is a deep brown peachy nude. For the mauve shades, we have Kebby, which is a soft cool toned pink mauve nude, a mauve moment, which is a mauve rose nude, Chic, which is a warm toned soft mauve nude, and then 2020, which is a light brown mauve nude. This is the packaging for the lipsticks. This is the nude mauves, a mauve moment. Um, I love, I love, love, love their packaging. Like it's so simplistic, but it's also very eye catching. Just even the cardboard boxes. <gasps> oh, okay. So this is beautiful. I love the square packaging of the lipstick tubes. It's got this gorgeous, like ombre from nude to bright pink. The Juvia's Place logo on the top, and this beautiful just gold stripe throughout. Very interesting shape for the bullet lipstick, in my opinion. I don't think I've seen very many shapes like that, but that is amazing. Ooh, and that, like, glides on. Like, there is no dragging. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Okay, I definitely need to try these on. So we are going to do some lip swatches. I want to put on some music, put on some lipstick. It's going to be great. And then at the very end, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the shades and um, just first impressions of the formula. So let's go ahead and jump into that, and I hope you guys enjoy it. funny I actually really like the shade I thought it was gonna be a little too light for me my lips are like all swollen 
because I've been taking lipsticks off for so long. So, final thoughts here. Um, the lip liners were really nice. Obviously, they are slightly drying. Like, I wouldn't even say drying. I think it's just because I was, like, putting them on and then taking them off and then putting them on and then taking them off. Um, the Scorpio shade, though, I'm dying over this. I feel like it gives, like, a very nice, like, gothic look because I am a paler skin tone. And I really, really love how this looks. Uh, this is probably gonna be like my newest obsession for the glosses um barely there in the lip reflect gloss is probably my least favorite shade i feel like it's a little too light for me like i could still probably pull it off and do some looks with it but this is probably gonna be like my least used the one thing i will say all of the lip gloss packaging is the same and this is my only like complaint with it is the wand is so large you have to like struggle to pull it out so that is a bit odd to me. Like, I don't like it that big, but I did like the wand. I did enjoy that. And I would also like to point out that the Lip Reflect glosses, these little guys, these are super thick, almost like liquid lipstick thick. Um, they do have, like, they're not sticky, but they do have, like, the feeling of a gloss, but they are super duper thick. So for me, for example... When I think of lip gloss, I think of either like kind of a sheer lip look or like putting lip gloss over like a lipstick or lip liner or something. I wouldn't do that with this. This is thick enough. It's opaque enough on its own. You really don't need it. The only one that I didn't find that to be true for it was the Barely There. This one was a little bit more sheer, um, but it was also, this is definitely not my favorite. Um, all in all though, love the glosses. They're amazing. And the lipsticks. Oh my God. First of all, this formula glides on i cannot believe these are mattes these are the most moisturizing hydrating lipsticks i think i've ever tried in my entire life they glide on with no issue and this like weird lipstick shaped bullet uh it makes it really easy and i'm assuming that they did this on purpose but it's so easy to apply like you don't even need a lip liner because you can just turn it on its side to get into like the corners like i have relatively thin lips so i just turn it on its side and it goes on so smoothly for me like even taking these on and off like my lips are a little bit puffy right now but like I don't even feel like I need like a like normally after I do like a lip swatch video or if I take pictures of a lot of different lip swatches I have to do like some type of like hydrating lip mask or something and I probably should do that and I probably will but I don't feel like I need to and normally I'm like give me something to put on my lips that's hydrating these are amazing obviously I really like the mauve shades that's typically what I tend to go for I really love a mauve nude and the mauve shades I liked all of these they are all stunning um there were I liked most of these honestly there were three that I wasn't super in love with and that would be um two of the nude peaches mademoiselle and in vogue and then one of the nude chocolates which is lady I just don't feel like these are the greatest on my skin tone but they're really beautiful still and I, I like there's nothing in this collection that I don't think I'm going to use I am gonna have to find looks that these will work for but I think I will be able to find a way to use all these so they don't go to waste um, and I'm just, I'm so blown away by the, just the formula of these. Like, they're so amazing. I can't, this was definitely an amazing anniversary gift. Um, I also did want to point out that I, I don't recommend buying, like, larger bundles like this. Like, this is what I used to do, is I would buy just, like, these big bundle collections. And the issue is that um, normally you won't use everything in them. So I'm really experimental. I like to try a bunch of different things. So for me, it's a little bit different. Obviously, like, buy whatever you want. But if you are on, like, a no-buy or a low-buy or you're trying just not to bring a whole lot into your collection, try to stay away from these because it's very hard to find something that you will use everything in. Uh, and so I'm also trying to step away from bundles or collections like this and instead just try to buy, like, individual products. Um, now, I will say I'm still very grateful to my husband for getting me this. Uh, it, it happened to work out like I love almost everything in here and even the things that I don't love, I think I will use. So thank you very much to him. But um, it just in general, I would probably recommend staying away from these and buying like individual products. It's well, it's way less wasteful. It's less expensive. And then you can kind of curate like, you know, your own like little product bundle or something like that. I, I do really like this. Like this is an amazing collection. But my husband also knew that I really, really, really like nude lips. So this is just kind of perfect for me. Uh, but those are the swatches. Like I said, the formula is out of this world. I cannot believe 
As far as I know, like, I'm not aware of any other Juvia's Place lip products, so I don't know if this is, like, their first foray into the lip product world, but oh my god, I'm so, so, so obsessed. So drop me a note down below. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these, if you're interested in trying any of them, what you think about the shades. Um, do you like, like, bigger lip gloss wands, or do you find that sometimes they can be a little too big? Let me know down below all of your thoughts and opinions. Please make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video so that I know to make more of them in the future. And also make sure you hit that big red subscribe button if you'd like to see more of me. Um, and let me know if you'd like to see more like lip swatch videos in the future. I normally don't focus on whole collections at once because I do tend to be more of the project planner mindset, but I also do like to shop and I like makeup. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing more of in the future. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Bye.